Have you ever wondered what's happening inside your phone when you ask Siri a question? Or how ChatGPT manages to write poetry and code with equal ease? Today, we're pulling back the curtain on modern natural language processing to reveal the fascinating technologies that are revolutionizing how machines understand and generate human language. Picture yourself trying to teach a toddler to read. You start with letters, then words, then sentences. But teaching a computer to understand language? That's a whole different challenge. Yet somehow, modern AI systems can not only understand what we say but respond in ways that sometimes feel remarkably human. At the heart of this revolution lies deep learning, a breakthrough that transformed NLP from simple pattern matching to something approaching true language understanding. But what exactly makes these modern systems so powerful? Imagine you're looking at a painting. You don't see individual brush strokes, you see the whole picture at once. That's similar to how modern NLP systems work with language, thanks to a groundbreaking architecture called the transformer. Unlike older systems that process words one at a time, like reading with a finger under each word, transformers can take in entire sentences at once, understanding how each word relates to every other word. Let's break down how this works with a simple example. Take the sentence, the bank by the river has low interest rates. A traditional system might get confused, is this about a financial institution or the edge of a river? But a transformer can see all the relationships at once. Bank connects to both river and interest rates, allowing it to understand this clever wordplay instantly. This ability to process language holistically led to one of the most significant breakthroughs in NLP, BERT, or bidirectional encoder representations from transformers. Think of BERT like a master linguist who's read virtually everything on the internet. But instead of just memorizing text, it's learned to understand context in a way that previous systems could only dream of. When Bert reads a sentence, it doesn't just look at words in order, it looks at them from both directions simultaneously. This bidirectional understanding was a game changer. Suddenly, machines could understand subtle nuances that depend on context, like the difference between, I'm running out of time, and, I'm running in the park. But Bert was just the beginning. Enter GPT, or Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. If BERT is like a master reader, GPT is like a master writer. It doesn't just understand language, it can generate it with remarkable fluency. Each version of GPT has pushed the boundaries further, with GPT-3 showing an almost uncanny ability to write everything from poetry to computer code. The scale of these models is mind-boggling. GPT-3 has 175 billion parameters, Think of these as the knobs and dials the system can adjust to fine-tune its understanding and generation of language. To put that in perspective, if each parameter were a word, it would take you over 500 years to read them all aloud, speaking non-stop. But what makes these systems truly remarkable isn't just their size, it's how they learn. Unlike traditional computer programs that follow rigid rules, modern NLP systems learn patterns from vast amounts of text, much like how humans learn language by being exposed to it. This approach, called transfer learning, means these models can apply what they've learned about language in general to specific tasks, just like how knowing English helps you understand both Shakespeare and technical manuals. The real magic happens when these technologies are applied to real-world problems. In healthcare, NLP systems are now reading medical literature at superhuman speeds, helping doctors stay up to date with the latest research and identifying potential treatments for rare diseases. They're analyzing patient records to spot patterns that might escape even experienced clinicians, and they're making medical knowledge more accessible to patients through intelligent chatbots. In the legal field, NLP is transforming how lawyers work with documents. Systems can now read through thousands of pages of contracts in minutes, identifying potential issues and inconsistencies that might take human lawyers weeks to find. They can analyze past court decisions to predict likely outcomes of new cases, and they can help make legal language more accessible to non-lawyers. The impact on education is equally profound. Imagine a tutor that never gets tired, can adapt to your learning style, and knows virtually everything. That's what modern NLP makes possible. Educational systems can now provide personalized feedback on essays, help students learn languages more effectively, and even generate practice problems tailored to each student's needs. But perhaps the most remarkable application is in breaking down language barriers. Real-time translation has become increasingly accurate and natural, 
making it possible for people who don't share a common language to communicate effectively. This isn't just about translating words, modern systems can maintain tone, style, and cultural nuances, making global communication more natural and effective than ever before. The technology behind these advances is fascinating. Take the concept of attention mechanisms, which allow models to focus on relevant parts of a sentence much like humans do. When you read, the cat sat on the mat, you naturally understand that, sat, relates more strongly to, cat, than to, mat. Modern NLP systems can make these connections explicitly, weighing the relationships between different words to understand meaning in context. These systems also excel at understanding analogies and relationships between concepts. They can figure out that if Paris is to France what Tokyo is to Japan, then Berlin must be to Germany. This ability to understand relationships extends to more complex patterns, allowing systems to reason about language in surprisingly sophisticated ways. Perhaps even more impressive is how these systems handle ambiguity. Human language is inherently messy, we use idioms, sarcasm, and context-dependent meanings all the time. Modern NLP systems can navigate this complexity by maintaining multiple possible interpretations and using context to disambiguate meaning. When someone says, that's just great, the system can analyze tone and context to determine whether it's genuine appreciation or sarcasm. Consider how this plays out in sentiment analysis. Earlier systems might simply count positive and negative words to determine sentiment. Modern systems can understand that, this movie was about as exciting as watching paint dry, is negative, even though it contains no inherently negative words. They can detect subtle shifts in tone, understand implied meanings, and even recognize cultural references. The training process for these systems is equally fascinating. Imagine trying to read every book, article, and web page ever written in English. That's essentially what these models do during pre-training. They process vast amounts of text, learning patterns and relationships that they can later apply to specific tasks. But unlike human reading, they can do this at incredible speeds, processing billions of words in a matter of days. But with great power comes great responsibility. These systems are so good at generating human-like text that they've raised important ethical questions. How do we ensure AI-generated content is used responsibly? How do we prevent the spread of misinformation? How do we maintain transparency about when we're interacting with AI versus humans? These questions become even more pressing as we look at applications in sensitive areas like healthcare and finance. When an NLP system is helping to diagnose patients or make investment decisions, the stakes are incredibly high. That's why modern systems are designed with robust validation and verification mechanisms. They don't just make predictions, they can explain their reasoning and provide confidence levels for their decisions. Let's dive deeper into how these systems learn. Traditional machine learning required carefully labeled datasets, Imagine having to manually mark up thousands of sentences to teach a system about grammar. Modern systems use self-supervised learning, where they can learn from raw text without explicit labels. It's more like how humans learn language, through exposure and context rather than formal rules. This self-supervised approach has led to some remarkable capabilities. Systems can now perform what's called, few-shot learning, they can learn new tasks with just a few examples. Show them a couple of examples of how to write a poem in a particular style, and they can generate more poems in that style. Show them a few examples of how to classify customer service emails, and they can start categorizing them accurately. The architecture of these systems is equally impressive. Think of it like a massive neural network with multiple layers of understanding. The first layers might handle basic pattern recognition, identifying words and simple phrases. Deeper layers understand more complex relationships, grammar, context, meaning. The deepest layers can grasp abstract concepts and make sophisticated connections between ideas. One of the most exciting developments is the emergence of multimodal systems, AI that can understand not just text, but images, speech, and even video. These systems can describe images in natural language, generate images from text descriptions, and even understand the relationship between what they see and what they read. Consider how this might transform education. A student could ask questions about a diagram in their textbook, and the system could provide detailed explanations, drawing connections between the visual information and the textual content. 
It could generate additional examples and visualizations to help explain difficult concepts, adapting its approach based on the student's learning style. In the business world, these systems are revolutionizing customer service. Modern chatbots don't just follow pre-programmed scripts, they can understand customer intent, handle complex queries, and even detect emotional states to provide more empathetic responses. They can switch contexts seamlessly, handle multiple languages, and maintain coherent conversations over multiple interactions. The financial sector has seen particularly dramatic impacts. NLP systems can now analyze news reports, social media sentiment, and market data simultaneously to identify trends and predict market movements. They can read through complex financial documents, extracting key information and flagging potential risks. They can even generate automated financial reports and summaries, saving countless hours of human analysis. In the legal field, NLP is transforming how we interact with legal documents. Systems can now parse complex legal language, identify potential conflicts or inconsistencies, and even suggest alternative phrasings to make documents clearer and more enforceable. They can analyze past cases to predict likely outcomes of current cases, helping lawyers make more informed decisions about litigation strategy. The impact on scientific research has been equally profound. Modern NLP systems can read and analyze scientific papers at a scale no human could match. They can identify patterns and connections across different fields of study, potentially leading to new discoveries. They can help researchers stay current with the latest developments in their field, summarizing key findings and highlighting relevant papers. But perhaps one of the most exciting applications is in creative fields. Modern NLP systems can generate original stories, compose music lyrics, and even help with screenwriting. They can analyze the structure of successful narratives and help writers develop more engaging stories. They can suggest plot twists, develop character arcs, and even maintain consistent voice and style throughout a piece. This creative capability raises interesting questions about the nature of creativity itself. These systems aren't truly creative in the human sense, they're generating new combinations based on patterns they've learned. But the results can be surprisingly original and thought-provoking. Some artists and writers are now using AI as a collaborative tool, letting it suggest ideas that they then develop and refine. The future of NLP holds even more exciting possibilities. Researchers are working on systems that can understand and reason about causality, not just recognizing patterns, but understanding cause and effect relationships. They're developing models that can maintain longer-term context, remembering and referencing information from earlier in a conversation or document. We're also seeing advances in multilingual understanding. Rather than treating each language as a separate problem, modern systems can learn universal language patterns that apply across multiple languages. This is particularly important for languages with limited digital resources, as systems can transfer knowledge from resource-rich languages to help understand and process less common languages. The technical challenges remain significant. These systems require enormous computational resources, raising questions about environmental impact and accessibility. They can sometimes produce confident-sounding but incorrect information, a phenomenon known as hallucination. And they still struggle with some aspects of language that humans handle effortlessly, like common sense reasoning and understanding implicit context. But the pace of progress is remarkable. Every few months brings new breakthroughs, new capabilities, and new applications. We're moving towards systems that can engage in more natural, more sophisticated, and more helpful interactions with humans. The goal isn't to replace human intelligence, but to augment it, to handle routine tasks so humans can focus on more complex and creative endeavors. As we look to the future, the potential applications seem limitless. Imagine educational systems that can adapt not just to a student's knowledge level, but to their interests, learning style, and emotional state. Picture healthcare systems that can understand patient descriptions of symptoms in any language and help doctors make more accurate diagnoses. Envision legal systems that can make complex laws and regulations accessible to everyone. The key to realizing this potential lies in continuing to improve both the technical capabilities and the ethical framework around these technologies. We need systems that are not just powerful, but transparent, fair, and accountable. We need to ensure that the benefits of these technologies are broadly accessible and that they serve to enhance rather than replace human capabilities. As we move forward, 
the relationship between humans and AI will continue to evolve. NLP systems will become more sophisticated, more natural, and more integrated into our daily lives. But they'll remain tools, incredibly powerful tools, but tools nonetheless, designed to help humans communicate, learn, and achieve more than we could alone. The story of NLP is, in many ways, the story of humanity's attempt to make our machines more human-like in their understanding and use of language. It's a journey that's taken us from simple rule-based systems to sophisticated AI that can engage in natural conversation. And while we've come incredibly far, in many ways we're still just beginning to explore the possibilities of what these technologies can achieve. In our next episode, we'll explore the ethical implications of these powerful technologies, examining how we can ensure they're developed and deployed responsibly. We'll look at questions of bias, privacy, and transparency, and discuss how we can harness the power of NLP while maintaining important human values and safeguards. The future of NLP is not just about technological advancement, it's about how we choose to use these powerful tools to enhance human capabilities, break down barriers, and solve important problems. As we continue to develop these technologies, we have the opportunity to shape them in ways that benefit humanity while respecting human values and promoting positive social outcomes.